Um, I'm 100% in favor of creating safe schools. I'm in favor of creating supportive schools as well, but only if we are supporting that which we understand and that which conforms to reality. A school is a place of learning, and so our rules as well as our lesson plans should be educational. And in order to educate, you need to understand reality and conform to reality. And that is the problem with these proposed guidelines. They are based in fiction. And while your motivation may be a good one, and I believe it is, your policy is bad because it fails to conform to reality. Affirmation of gender dysphoria has no basis in science and is highly controversial. Affirmation of prepubescent children <clears throat> in their belief that they are the opposite sex is cooperating with the child's mental confusion and shepherds them to mental disorder. The American Psychiatric Association says that as many as 98% of gender distressed boys and 88% of girls eventually <coughs> accept their biological sex. The one study that has tracked prepubescent children with gender dysphoria who were affirmed as the opposite sex and treated with puberty blocking hormones found that 100% went on to use cross-sex hormones by late adolescence, which results in them being sterile and the lifetime use of toxic hormones into their body. Children who identify as feeling like the opposite sex remain biological boys and biological girls. One increasingly hears the claim that a child with gender dysphoria is born with a brain that is of the opposite sex of his body. That is biologically impossible. Schools should incorporate lessons on mutual respect towards those who they don't understand. But nothing about the proposed guidelines has a connection to ending bullying or students from being mean. <coughs> In fact, I can only assume, my last point, I can only assume that enforcing these policies will bring attention, more attention to these students in question and increase bullying. We advocate for common sense solutions that allows all students to feel comfortable. There are many individuals who are uncomfortable in public facilities for a variety of reasons. A reasonable accommodation is a single occupancy restroom in every school. Thank you. Thank you.